but until it's really put to the test, you just never know. It's got a lot of weight to it, but obviously it's plenty sharp. <laughs> Nicely done. Thank you. All right, Steven, you're up. Are you ready? Can't wait. Jay's weapon did really well cutting through the sugar canes. I'm not nervous about mine, but, you know, I don't know if it's going to cut better than his. His cut real strong. It's light, it's easy to wield. That guard, it's almost where it's into you when you're swinging it. You can see it cut deep and clean. It looks like the blade held up beautifully. So nice job. Thank you. Bladesmiths, this Y-hander was a weapon of war. Big weapon, big damage. I will take your weapon and deliver killing blows on this ballistic dummy. Let's see how much damage your weapon can do. Jay, you're up first. You ready? Go for it. Let's do this. It is a heavy weight, and it's harder to manipulate with multiple blows. But on the thrust, I was able to go in one side and all the way on the opposite side of the dummy. This, sir, will kill. Thank you. Steven, you're up next. You ready? Absolutely. Let's do this. That was brutal. Okay, Steve, the edge of your sword is sharp enough to lacerate all the way into the ribs. And on the power strike, that would disembowel and ruin this person. That's the idea. This sword will kill. Good job. Thank you. Gentlemen, this is the strength test. Now, this Vihander was often used against pike formations. So I'm going to take yours, Vihanders and go against a rack of pikes here, five times with each of your blades. And see how far I can break through. Jay, you're up, are you ready? Ready. So after two tests, Steven and I are pretty neck and neck. So I feel pretty nervous because this next test should really determine who's gonna take home the prize. Gentlemen, this is the strength test. Jay, you're up. Are you ready? Ready. Wow. When you start swinging this thing, it moves things out of its way. I don't see any damage to your edge. Nicely done. Thank you. All right, Steve, you're up. Do it. Okay. The third test is probably the one I'm the most confident about. You know, I've I've beat the heck out of this sword and it's doing well. So now it's just how much mayhem can Dave cause? Obviously, it's a good cutter. It actually bit into that wood and split that right down the middle. Very easy to wield because of its light weight. But I think we've bent just a little bit. It's bent in two directions. And there is a crack now developing in the handle. 